Let's cut through all the noise and continue our path towards cosmic clarity. Welcome to SETI Astro. Well, something that I think we've been missing has been a denoising model that's been trained on mono and luminance images. Deep SNR is great when it works on color data only. And there's some weird workarounds to try to get it to work with uh, mono, including splitting up your stacking stacks and, and all sorts of pain. So I wanted to have a really good denoising program that could work with my mono images as well as any colored images, right? Because a colored image is nothing more than a stack of mono images to produce the color. So now that I already had the backbone from our original Cosmic Clarity where we did sharpening, I was able to utilize that backbone and retrain the modeling for denoising. So now I want to introduce both Cosmic Clarity sharpening and denoising. On my website, studyastro.com, you can get the Windows version, the Mac version. I have the latest models, right? The denoise has a, has a different model as well. If you're a PixInsight user, you can also grab the repository. I have standalone instructions and instructions for the PixInsight users. Um, so this is still our Cosmic Clarity sharpening. And now there's Cosmic Clarity denoising as well. Now when you look at the drive, you'll see that there is the initial install, which has the sharp and ND noise. It's a single zip for the Windows. And then if you're a Mac user, I have it in either a compressed zip or a tar, whichever you're uh, more comfortable extracting. For the Mac users, they are standalone executables within there now. And uh, Windows, it's, it's just like how it was before. And then the latest models has all the models, including the new denoise model. Now when you first uh, download it again in the zip, it'll have all your folders. Be sure you click Extract All. And then wherever you uh, put the folder, just remember where that folder path is. You have our original SETI Astro Cosmic Clarity.exe. That's going to be the sharpening application. And then there's another one for denoise. And it will do the same thing. It'll uh, take the images out of the input folder, process them, and put them in the output folder for you. I'll just open the, the standalone so you could see what it looks like. It'll ask if you want to use your GPU acceleration. It'll ask your denoise strength you want. And then it's going to ask if you want to do the full denoise or luminance only. So for full denoise, it's going to denoise all three RGB channels. And uh, mono, it just denoise is the mono channel and luminance only if you're on a colored one it'll only denoise the luminance channel for you the PixInsight scripts now under SETI Astro you'll find cosmic clarity denoise and sharpen if we open the denoise one you can see we have all those same options again enable GPU acceleration full denoise or luminance only your noise reduction strength here and uh, for Pix Insight users, you can have the option if it is linear, it'll stretch the data behind the scenes for us, run the denoising, and revert it back to the linear state for you. So the image I'm going to test it on here is the uh, Spirit Mountain within the Soul Nebula. I'm going to go ahead and run my denoising script. I'm going to tell it it is linear data still. And uh, I'll just leave it at the 0.9 right now. If you've never ran any of these before, you need to hit the little wrench icon to tell the script where the parent folder is. And then just click OK. It's going to do some stretching in the background for us here. And then now on both Macs and Windows, it will open a console for you so you can see what's going on. And now the denoising is complete. So this is the after. 
and the before and the after. So even though uh, my model was trained on mono and luminance data, such that we could use it on mono and luminance data, uh, it can still denoise color, right? Because color is just three separate channels of grayscaled images. So let's go ahead. Uh, we could run deep SNR on one. We'll run mine on one. Uh, we could do Graxpert on another. Uh, just try to keep with all the, the free ones. Uh, maybe we'll even check out noise X2. So I got um, deep SNR here. We'll just do a strength one. All right, that was right at 40 seconds. And this is a 2x drizzled file, so I was not expecting great results from deep SNR, but we'll go ahead and uh, make a copy of this one so we can do some comparisons. I'll undo that and we'll go ahead and run Cosmic Clarity Denoise. And we'll do the, the full denoise as well. And I had 47 seconds for my denoising, so pretty comparable to deep SNR. We'll go ahead and make a clone of this one. Now let's go ahead and do the Graxpert denoise. It does look like even on uh, GPU acceleration enabled on a Windows machine, this is going to take uh, considerably longer. I'm at 30 seconds already and we're 13% done. And I'm not sure on how it performs on Mac machines. I do know on my program, uh, the metal performance shaders work uh, perfectly well for the Apple Silicone out there. So you should have some great um, acceleration on my denoising and sharpening programs. All right, Graxpert denoise just finished and we're just uh, right at two minutes and 40 seconds. So substantially longer than the other ones. Let's go ahead and look at uh, Graxpert versus my Cosmic Denoise. So here's Cosmic Denoise and Graxpert. Cosmic Denoise, Graxpert. I do think uh, Graxpert maybe has a, a better transition uh, from the galaxy to the background. And it does look like uh, potentially some other non-stellar or stellar dots out there. Um, not not a hundred percent sure uh, what what they are, but I mean it's it, it's it's pretty darn close. Now let's go ahead and look at cosmic denoise versus deep SNR. Now deep SNR when it does work. It really works well. When it doesn't work, it, it, it's just a nightmare. And this is an example. So if you have two extra drizzled data, deep SNR almost 100% of the time will not work. So here's deep SNR and then cosmic denoise. Deep SNR with all that modeling everywhere and cosmic denoise. I guess for fun, because everybody's going to do it anyways, let's go ahead and run uh, Noise Exterminator. Now, Noise Exterminator is a paid uh, noise reduction tool, and it only works in PixInsight. Uh, my program can be utilized in standalone mode. So, Noise X is done. And here's uh, my Cosmic Denoise. So, Cosmic Denoise, Noise Exterminator. Cosmic Denoise, Noise Exterminator. I think Cosmic de Denoise is actually maintaining some of these uh, very faint stellar structures better than Noise Exterminator. So I gotta be very happy with the results here. Again, here's Noise Exterminator, Cosmic Denoise, and Cosmic Denoise is maintaining structures within the galaxy itself, too, that uh, Noise Exterminator's just, just erasing. So, uh, I think I'm going to be using my uh, Cosmic Denoise over Noise Exterminator as well for, for some of these targets, for sure. Um, it's just another tool, right? Uh, try out 
cosmic denoise. If you get better results with that, then noise X great. If that particular object noise X gives you the better results over cosmic denoise, that's a, that's a win too. Uh, sometimes maybe deep SNR will give you the best result. I think uh, between all these tools, we're going to have uh, just an amazing suite of imaging processing techniques. The other amazing thing about my cosmic denoise is the fact that it is trained on mono data. So you can use it on your mono channels. Um, uh, plenty of us imagers out there have a, have a lot of mono data. And then it equally, works equally well with all your one-shot color data. It, it splits up the color data in the background, denoises all the channels, and puts them back together for you. Now I did take a um, screen grab of me performing it on my Mac Mini. So it definitely uh, still performs very well. It only has uh, two cores, so I can't do a whole lot on the Mac Mini, but I can demonstrate that it, it does open via the script. It's gonna go ahead and, and save the image in the background. And then uh, for the denoise script, it does open up a new terminal. And in the terminal, you're going to be able to see the progress now. And it should bring up a nice little progress bar as it's uh, doing the chunks. This is a, a small image. Like I said, I only have, I only have two cores on the, the Mac Mini to just get the scripts and uh, processes going. But um, it, it should be working on everybody's uh, Macs. And here's just me flipping uh, before and after on the Mac. I hope everybody gets great use out of Cosmic Clarity, both the sharpening and the denoising. Let me know how it's working out for everyone. Please comment, like, and subscribe.